All right, guys, we're live. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> we're here. Um, thank you so much for your patience um, for last week. Uh, sorry to give you guys a teaser of a recipe and then not deliver. We just, we were going through it last week. I'm sure we've all been there at some point. Um, but what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be making a sour cream pound cake. Um, and we are going to, uh, it's really simple as far as the first processes go. And then we're going to be putting it into a bunt pan and it goes into the oven for like an hour and, and a half. And I'm going to do both. Yes. I'm so, going to find this and help. I've got my helpers right here. Hey, they hey, are. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to help mom uh -huh. and Mary because them can't do by your, their steps. Are you helping us out? Yeah, because oh. yesterday you did. Make them by yourself without me, uh -huh. but I just clean the dishes. You were very helpful yesterday. Thank you. She helped me make some mashed potatoes no. um, that you may have seen on my feed. Uh, we've been eating well <laughs> at the Kaiser house. We've been eating really well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. I haven't done that yet. Um, the girls have both washed their hands already. They are still in their pajamas because we are still living our best life. I um, am. And the guys are quarantine kitchen, so I'm going to go ahead and get my hands washed. Hi, Grandma um, Sissy. And then we'll get started. <laughs> so, uh, they will entertain you while that process happens. So, um, pound cake. Some interesting things about pound cake. No, no. Um, pound cake is actually called a pound cake because you use a pound no. of some sort of fat. Um, so, we are using three whole sticks of butter for this. They've been out since about... It's okay, girls. We just haven't got started yet. Um, they have been out since about 8 o'clock this morning. Um, and then we're also using a whole stick of cream cheese. And I think I said sour cream, and I wrote sour cream, but it's actually cream cheese. So, um, alright, girls, are you ready to start helping me crack some eggs? Yeah, I'm going to do this question. Okay. Um, so we are going to use part of this little egg cracker that we've used before that you may have seen. Um, so we're going to use part of that. And then we're also going to be, uh, Maren said she wants to be brave and uh, attempt to do some of this by hand. So like I said, fingers crossed. It's going to be great. All right. So we got one of our eggs cracked. Again, this is a super handy little tool. It's one of those that like out and brown would hate though. Uh, because of the fact that it's got one use and one use only, but you know what that is all right I'm gonna go ahead and take the shell out Dispose of that guy <clears throat> We'll dump it into our bowl separate bowl. You always want to make sure that you aren't Directly cracking your egg. Um, this calls for six eggs as well. Um, our eggs are going to provide binder structure all that sort of stuff <clears throat> Okay, and then push the button down Good girl. All right, did we get it? Yeah, look, it's starting to ooze out. I need help. Hold on just a second. Patience, please. No, I have. Patience, please. Ooh. Let me get this one dumped in there. Two, one more. One more left. Hold on, we need to make sure we crack it a little bit more. So see how there isn't much of a crack there? Uh, we want to make sure that we get that a little bit more. So go for it, girl. Get a little bit more of a tap. All right, a little bit more. Whoa! I'll show you. Hey, you did it. See, if you crack it too softly, what happens is you crack the whole shell of the egg, and then it puts little pieces of shell into your eggs itself. Okay? So you can try it again. Luckily, we've got some more eggs to try out. Let me get this guy. Ooh, we didn't get that one broke all the way through. <clears throat> I hope everyone's quarantine is going well. Like I said, I know last week was a tough week for us. The sunshine we got at the beginning of this week in Kansas was beautiful. We were really lucky for that. Oh yeah, we got some eggshell in there. Good thing they're big pieces. We can get those fished out. Um, today's a little bit rainy though. It's kind of a gloomy day. No better reason to bake if it's nasty and gross outside. Oh, good job. All right, and final egg. Edie, turn around so people can see. Let's see if this is gonna be our winner. Did we get it? I did it without a shell. Good job. You cracked it all by yourself? Yeah, without you guys. <laughs> all right. So since we all have egg on our hands, girls, we need to wash 
them. Wash them, wash them. Trying to get this little piece. You have to wash your hands. And this recipe is super simple. So after we all get our hands washed, and Edie hey, going. Watch out, I'm gonna dump this all by myself. You're gonna dump that egg all by yourself? We also all got custom manicures yesterday um, on not, our back porch. Not my fingers. That's right. Uh -oh. Just jump it like this, babe. Six eggs. I only did my toes. All eggs. good. I only did my toes. You only did your toes. Edie did my toenails, and Marin did my fingernails. So, who needs a nail salon Look at Mom's right now? They're bouncy, Mom. And the eggs are bouncy. It's okay. I'll show them a little bit. No, really let's get not. let's get this process rolling, baby girl. Woo! Hey, what? um, I need you to wash your hands. Edie, can you move your chair over? So I can wash oop, this. Oop, 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 oop. Oh! Oh! We're wobbly. Do the dishes and do the. Okay, so we have our eggs. Marin, did you wash your hands? Let go wash your hands, please. And we are going to be using. Our kitchen aid mixer for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it over here. If you don't have a stand mixer, um, you can use a hand mixer if you want to, or if you felt really ambitious, um, you could try to do this all by hand. I'm sure that you could make it happen. Um, after I did those cookies by hand um, a couple weeks ago, I decided I have tools and technology, so. Uh, Gonna utilize that. <laughs> I'm going to utilize that. Alright. So I went ahead and measured everything out this morning. Um, or sorry, I set it out this morning so it could soften. But I went ahead and measured everything as well. Um, we are going to be using the paddle attachment on our KitchenAid. We're going to keep these butter papers again. That's actually, um, if you heard me talk about it in a previous episode, if you are a faithful follower of uh, Kaiser Quarantine Kitchen. Edie, are you putting those eggshells down the sink for me? I'm gonna no. shift you this way a little bit so you can see what's going on over here. Can I put it Go ahead and put it in there. We've got three sticks of butter. We're gonna save this butter paper though because I actually used that to grease and flour our bunt pan, um, which I'll talk a little bit more about here shortly. <clears throat> but we are gonna save those butter papers because they are Fantastic to use um, later on down the road. So we are going to turn our mixer. I'm going to go ahead and lock our arm in place. Can We're going to turn our it? mixer on low just so we can go ahead and start to cream our butter. Can so I do it? yeah, turn it on over here. I want it to be on like two. Okay. So it's on low. So you're gonna see that we're just gonna go ahead and start creaming our butters together. Ooh. So that they all can kind of get a little bit fluffy. The color's gonna change a little bit. They're gonna lighten. Um, and that just means that we're adding some air. So as we add, let's not turn it up yet. We don't need to. Let's actually, you know what? We're gonna try to blast it off of that beater just a little bit. So here we go. You ready? Okay, so if you wanna grab, we're gonna add our sugar. So this recipe calls for three cups of sugar. Can I do so this it? is definitely, I'm going to add it and then you can uh, make sure that it gets all beat in. Okay. Um, so this is definitely not a diet friendly recipe unless you're on the same diet I am right now, which is just basically eat your feelings. <laughs> it's nothing, honey. Go ahead and add a little bit more. You want to add this slowly. You don't want to like throw it in all at once because then it doesn't have time to incorporate. We really want to kind of focus on the incorporation here. Since it is so much fat, you want to make sure it has time to hang out with um, that sugar. Can I pour it in? Yeah. All of it? Go for it. Good job. Ooh, careful. <laughs> all right, give that to Edie. Edie, you doing all right over there? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> she's 
She's good help. I'll keep her. <laughs> All right, so you can see that our butter is starting to get kind of light and fluffy. We've got all of that sugar starting to combine. We're creaming that all together. Fluffy is a great way to explain it. It is getting kind of fluffy. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in. Actually before, I'm gonna jump the gun. I'm gonna turn that off for a second. I'm gonna grab a spatula or rubber scraper. We're gonna scrape down our edges just to make sure that everything is doing what it needs to be doing. So just grab a rubber scraper real quick, scrape down the sides of your bowl. Our slime is yuck. Our slime is yuck, yeah. Maren got some slime for Easter. I hope everybody had a happy Easter. Uh, Maren got some slime for Easter and we spent a lot of time making it and uh, it lasted about four days. So uh, it was fun while it lasted. Then it was sloppy. But then it turned all like, Dude. yeah, it was not, um, I mean slime, slime is slime, but it was not what it needed to. Okay, so we are going to turn that back on, go ahead and lock your arm again, and we're gonna start adding in our eggs. I'm gonna pour them. I'm gonna pour them because they're really, you can help me, it's good, teamwork. We're gonna do like one egg at a time. Ew, it smells bad. I'm so All right, girl, wash your hands when you're done, please. Good job, Chef. Handle your business. <laughs> Ew. That's called an egg white. It looks like a booger, doesn't it? It's good. Ew. That's how it creates structure. Do you know what structure it's means? Like a booger. Do you know what structure means? Like when I say structure, like it creates like the walls of your cake so that your cake doesn't just go boom and fall down. It looks good now. In our slime. In our slime? Yeah, it looks like our slime. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in a brick of cream cheese. This has also been softening since this morning. <clears throat> Let me get it open and then you can dump it in there. Yay, I wanna open it too. Those of you who are parents will understand this. Edie Kaiser, make sure you wipe. It's super soft. And wash your hands. You can come wash your hands in here. We're using the stool in our kitchen, so she's a little bit thrown. No, I'm not. We've using rocked her. Stool. We've rocked her world. I'm not using stool. Marin has grown uh, six inches uh, since Easter. It was it was a miracle. <laughs> okay, so I've had this cream cheese setting out since this morning. It's a whole brick. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually kind of cut this into. I'm going to divide it I don't want to do that. and we're going to add it into our mixture. I'm going to do that. Here, I'll let you add in our flour here in just a minute, okay? This is a little bit tough. I don't want you to get hooked on that beater. Hold on, hold on. It looks really good. I'll show you guys here in just a second so that way we don't get all of the joy. And... Ooh, no, it doesn't. You can smell that cream cheese. It smells good. It kind of smells like cheesecake, right? Yeah, we made cheesecake um, over Easter, and it was fantastic. Fantastic. Again, Daddy. diet, diet, diet. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you again what this sort of looks like. We've got all that stuff combined. It's hanging out. Um, I'm gonna crank up the speed just a little bit so we can make sure we really get it all combined. We're on combined four. well. We are kind of right in between. I think we're at five. Five for the win. Okay, so now we're gonna add in, kind of let that hang out. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my vanilla as well. Turn down my speed. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the sides of my bowl again. Because I can see some of the egg is hanging out there. I can put the flour in. And it really, you want to make sure that it's very, um, it looks, very uniform. Everything is kind of combined. This is a really easy yeah, recipe to do. Good. It has no egg. It's not easy. It does have egg in it. You're right. And I am not tasting 
You can do dishes. My dishes, fantastic girl. All right, let's go ahead and add in our vanilla. We've got a teaspoon of vanilla here. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Let's lock our arm in place. Okay, let's do it quickly. Like Whoa! <laughs> and now I have vanilla on my arm. And we realized that you shouldn't just pump up the jam that quick. didn't want to pull her hair back, so we all decided that we're just going to compare little bits of hair in our food. <laughs> Coming to a porch near you. No, you don't have to clean this thing. Yay! I do. I kind of feel that way about most of the stuff, but oh, sorry. A little wobbly. Okay, and this actually, this is a recipe that calls for self-rising flour. So self-rising flour has a leavening agent already inside of it. Um, so we don't have to worry about adding any extra leavening. Oh, we're not quite ready for that yet, baby girl. All right, so I'm gonna turn it down and then we are going to add in our flour. I'm gonna help. This is our, you go, you do it. You gotta let it hang out enough so that it doesn't like, and then we have like a whole cloud of flour inside. Mm -hmm. Poo. Poo. That's right, Edie. Flower cloud. On a cloudy day. We don't need it. Turn it up to ten. <laughs> Spoken like a true seven and a half year old. Turn it up to ten. <laughs> okay. Give it a little shimmy. Give it a little shimmy shake. Here we go. It smells really good, doesn't it? I'm gonna mix it. You're gonna, we don't, don't get that dirty. We need that for our whipped cream. We're gonna be attempting to make homemade whipped cream. I've made it before, but I think I have like right at a cup of heavy whipping cream. So we'll see uh, if it works out. But we'll be using our KitchenAid again. So uh, this thing's getting a workout today. We need this. Yes, this is a bunt pan, by the way. This is what a bunt pan is. So um, it's gonna be great. This is great for portioning as well because it has all of these wonderful little ridges. So then you can cut something out, um, kind of base off the ridge, which is really nice. And I, you can see that I've already uh, floured and greased that pan. So hopefully this won't stick. I'm gonna stir it. We don't need to stir it. We need to add more. Low speed with this. Because it is a lot to hang out in this bowl. You can probably see like the, the cloud that is happening. Water cannon. Water cannon. <laughs> okay. You guys want to watch Edie for a minute? Stop! We need to wash it. Is this a nice guy? No. No. Okay. How much longer before one of them starts to yell? I give it about three more minutes. No, no you can stir it now. Put it in the sink, okay? Don't you eat you? engine. All right, so you can see all of our ingredients are hanging out. It looks like a beautiful, wonderful, soft, fluffy, all homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous means everything together, the same, all together, right? Science term. I think, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I've been trying to do like this math thing and it's grade school math, so it's not like the most ridiculous thing to do. But I remember this water. how little I remember about math. 
and just in general. First grade, um, it was not a hard subject for me. Got them. But here we are. What do you have potatoes for? You need potatoes. I don't think I need potatoes. Yes, you do. What do I need potatoes for? Make sprinkles. With potatoes? I have my own. Oh, potato sprinkles. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> all right, so I'm just getting all of this pound cake goodness off of our spatula. Our paddle. And I'll give this to Edie. It's better because it's sugar. Here you go, baby girl. Another dish. Another dish. I think your dad probably feels that way all the time about any time I'm doing anything in the kitchen. Oh, okay, so we are going to add this to our bunt pan. This is heavy. A pound cake, it's going to be dense, right? So I'm going to go ahead and start adding this and try not to drop the pan or the bowl. Sorry, the bowl rather. That was from her slime kit. She's telling you fibs. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna add this all in. It smells really good. With all that butter and cream cheese, it would be really hard to not be amazing. And sugar, like three cups of sugar and three cups of self-rising flour. So this has got, oh, there's a bear in my kitchen. Chef Sven, here to pull up the end. Sister. Let's try not to get Sven dirty. I don't think Chef Sven would appreciate that. <laughs> all right, so I have my bowl basically clean. We've got it all in our bunt pan. And then again, That I have, that I have greased and floured previously down here, the bunt pan. And uh, now we're gonna pop it in the oven. <laughs> we're gonna pop it in the oven for about 90 minutes. So uh, we will see you in about an hour and a half. Hope for the best. Thanks for watching Kaiser Kitchen. Say bye, bye everybody. Bye. Edie, say bye. Bye. Bye friends, we'll see you in a bit.